I guess I predominantly focus on portraiture. I try to explore subjects that I'm interested in, that I don't really understand or I want to learn about. I guess a lot of my work concentrates on the psychology of the relationship between the photographer, myself, and what I'm photographing, the subject matter. I have a great interest in psychology and storytelling. Um, so I like to kind of use that to influence my work. I used to be really interested in painting and I soon discovered that I could paint a picture a lot quicker using a camera than using oils. I feel like a camera is almost like, you know, a, a way of kind of shaking somebody's hand. I think it's like Olivia Arthur or, or someone like that said that um, when, she, uh, when she takes a picture and she looks through the viewfinder, somebody once said to her, it looks like she's bowing down to them. I don't really like to sort of think of the outcome of the image whilst I'm taking it. I like to get lost into the moment and if I have a digital camera, the temptation to look at the back of the camera and see what's going on is far too, far too much in my head. So I like the fact that it might not come out. Predictability absolutely terrifies me. Like, for example, um, there's a game that I play which is kind of like train roulette. So I'll uh, go, go to a station and, and kind of close my eyes at the ticket machine and press a button and that's where I'll go and it'll just be, you know, me and my analogue camera and then maybe sometimes I'll be with another person. You're just walking around but you're really being mindful. You know when you go on a hike into a mountain and you really look at every bit of vegetation and you look at all the views, um, and sometimes I quite like sort of walking around the state and really looking up at, you know, all the windows and all the washing hanging up and those kind of things. As soon as I met Fran and, and we sat down and we started talking, it was just like this explosion of inspiration and energy. When I kind of connect with somebody and when I feel like I want to work with somebody, I, especially like Fran, it's looking at a relationship and, um, you know, hopefully many shows or, or just kind of like having a long-term plan together. So we talked about various different projects. Youth Without Age, Life Without Death was, you know, one of the main ideas. So I'd been shooting it for about three years, um, but my edit was very tight. I was very unhappy with it. And then I guess Fran helped me realise that, you know, it didn't need to be finished. And actually it was just about editing it down to, you know, where I was right now. Working with Fran, I realised that actually what I wanted to do was for this adventure to be part of many. And actually it's, for me, um, especially now it's on the wall, is it makes me realise, um, you know, where I'm going with my photography with regards to what I enjoy about making work. And one reason, and the main reason that I started producing this project was because I didn't want to feel restricted by a project. And I didn't want to feel restricted by the idea of a subject matter or a theme. I simply wanted to be able to roam freely, um, get lost in an adventure. 
and you know for it to have a purpose obviously to be inspired by what I was photographing and, and kind of the people that I was meeting and the places that I was going and the things that I was thinking and the conversations I was having but I guess this is kind of representative of an, another chapter in my photography a new way of working